You wonder why stuff ain't going your way? You wonder why stuff ain't working out? Duh. You gotta manifest that. Period. If you're not manifesting it, what, what is you doing? My life for you, life for you, life for you. Put my life for you, life for you, life for you. No, I die for you, die for you, die for you. This is my baby, Nyla. <laughs> Nyla. She interrupts all my videos. Sorry, y'all gonna hear a lot about this one, okay? That's like my kid right now. Like, that's my kid. Like, y'all gonna hear a lot about her. So, it's girl chat time. We finna talk about how to change our mindset. Because, of course, sis, how we finna be big body millionaires with a mediocre mindset? How we gonna do that? How? No, we, we're not gonna do that. And we're finna change that right now. So, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel, honey. Because I'm about to be dropping a lot of girl chats very, very, very soon. Okay? Honestly, this is like the beginning of my girl chats. Because we finna get down to the gritty gritty because... I wish I had a me growing up. I wish I had a me because I'm blunt and I keep it real. I don't care about other people's opinions, uh, especially now that I'm grown. I really could care, absolutely less. So I'm gonna keep it real 100%. I'm gonna give girls advice. Like this is what I truly wanna do. Help girls get through things that I didn't think was even possible to get done. Like get through like there was a lot of childhood stuff that i didn't think i would get through and i got through i'm still here i'm still thriving i'm still striving i really want my youtube to generate a lot of young girls um way younger than what i have on my wig page obviously so i like please tell younger girls that you know about that would be very interested in topics like these because i'm about to drop a whole bunch of stuff that will be giving little girls advice and just growing up in that middle school high school life um and how to like tra train your mindset now train it now so when you grow up you're just body in adulthood you body in it like adulthood like i want y'all to smash adulthood like it's easy because i'm not gonna lie it smacked me in my face just a little bit <laughs> but i readjust it okay so one thing i never understood about people that are mediocre is like like i don't understand it you know um i was blessed enough to have my parents who were always always trying to get better be better find better like they're always trying to find us better schools better home for us to live in um like just all they're always trying to become better people like my parents were always like that you know what i'm saying um, I'm not trying to bring up spiritual or whatever, but they definitely, you know, got me into that too. You know what I'm saying? Having a religion, having a foundation. Um, they trained me a lot, but I'm going to also talk about what they, what they badly trained me on. Okay. Cause we going to keep it real. Ain't no parent perfect. Okay. And I'm probably not going to be no perfect parent. I'm going to be close, but I'm not going to be no perfect parent. But, um, uh, my parents didn't treat me how to be content. Like, they didn't teach me how to be, no. My parents taught me to go get it, okay, by any means. And I love that. And I, But what I have understood while growing up, I understood that not everybody was trained that way. And it's not your fault. It's not your parents' fault. It's just how y'all generations went on. Y'all just stay content. But why? Like, why stay there? Why stay there, sis? I understand it's like a safe spot for you, but why? Like like why i think it's i think it's the safety part i really do because i can relate to the safety part a little bit like i don't like change that much so maybe that maybe that's it but um like that would just be in a situation that is so tough like um like i i've i've seen a lot of mediocre people and i'm not gonna like of course i'm not gonna point them out or nothing but just bringing up topics and stuff like that like say if they didn't have no uh food for their kids or something like that or like school wasn't working out or just stuff, stuff like that like your situation literally is not working your plan is not working okay so readjust it like <laughs> readjust your plan so what are you saying that you finna stay in that situation and just try to you know build up prayer and hope and just hope your situation works out why not make it better why not shift your attention? Why not shift your focus to, you know, to do something else? To, you know what I'm saying? Redirect yourself to something else and put your passion to use. Like, sometimes it could be laziness. You could be unmotivated. Or even sometimes people just don't know where to start. And I've noticed that as well. Like, 
and it's okay to not know where to start like it's okay and you know it's this generation 2020 there is so many resources on to how to figure out how to start a business you don't even have to start a business because i'm not gonna say that you don't have to start a business because i know some people have kids and you don't have time honey because sometimes i'm over here questioning like do i really want to do this <laughs> and i don't got no kids just keep in your mind like y'all don't have to start a business so start a business you can start a little adventure like a little adventure a little project get your kids involved um you know something you know something just create something so what, so what do we do so we're lazy we're unmotivated and we really don't know where to start we're gonna sit here procrastinate stay in our same position no sis don't do that but i know a lot of people who do i know i know a lot of people who do okay a lot who literally stay in a situation like baby like and first of all i'm not no mother right now but i'm just saying i'm already preparing myself to be a mother because i really want to be one and be real of course like most most women do i'm not gonna lie i want to be a mom so i'm trying to put like build my life up now build up my success now try to start new projects now dip and dive into stuff like that and this is talk to my young girls who are watching right now start right now start before real life situations hit okay because i know a lot of people who wish they started before like real life situations hit like pregnancy or you know just finding a guy who like literally just mess up your whole life like literally there's some situations like that too so like literally just start start now it's always best to start now um i even thought about this randomly one day like y'all even if i didn't like have a wig business because that was just something i just created I still, because as the person I am, um, I am, I would still want to use my calling and I would still want to, you know, um, mentor younger girls and, you know, give them advice and stuff like that. I would still want to do that. So I would still find another way to do it. Like, I don't care how I have to do it. Like, even if I just record YouTube videos and barely get views, I still want to live my purpose and this get, this fulfills me. Like, this makes me feel good that I know that somebody's out there watching it and I'm helping somebody out. Like, legit that's how i feel i love helping people yeah so that's just and like my parents taught me you have a passion go with that passion do everything you can to live that passion okay and just keep in mind y'all to live your passion y'all don't have to go to college i literally only have my associate's degree and i'm totally fine with that <laughs> i have no intentions of going back to school anytime school anytime soon and i know there's a lot of people who can relate to that as well and it's not even just about the affording part. School is a lot, okay? And like I said, real life situations don't have time for school. <laughs> like, we gotta go get this bread. We gotta go get this money. We gotta put food on the table. We got a place to pay rent for. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I get it. I get why people stay in their situation. I get why people stay. It looks like they're, you know, being mediocre. And I get why they stay there, but... I'm trying to teach y'all how to get out of that mindset because there's always more that you could be doing. Always. Period. I literally, y'all, <laughs> seriously, seriously, like last year, I literally like trained my mind to be like Beyonce. I watched her, um, what was that? It was like a concert thing where you literally saw all the hard work she done over the past year working on the project. And it's like, she has three kids doing all this. And it's just like, you spend your spare time doing what? Like, really, really think about this right now. What do you spend? What do you really spend your spare time doing? And don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> you know you on Instagram scrolling. You know you're on YouTube watching other people's dreams come true and not yours. You you know you're over there watching a movie or you caking on the phone with a little boo thing. You know you're doing that. You know you know what you're doing, girl. Like you you know you could be doing something productive. Come on. You know you're over here planning a trip that you probably can't even afford right now. <laughs> you know you're over here on Fashion Nova putting stuff in the cart that you know you can't afford. <laughs> you know, okay? You know that. So, like, why not shift your mindset? That's mediocre mindset. Sitting there watching other people's dreams come true. Why not flip it over to... Um, my dog is always doing something. Now she's chewing my cone. Like, I just can't. I can't.
why not shift your mindset to be better, to want more, to always think like a businesswoman, like a millionaire. Like, if I'm not getting money out of this, what am I doing it for? That's what you need to be thinking about. Exactly what I just said. If you're not getting money out of it, sis, what is you doing it for? If you're not getting money out of it, happiness, none of that, then you should not be doing it, period. Cause I've also noticed like, I mean, I'm not that I'm not that old, but you know, and, you know, in the little years I've been living, I noticed that like wasting your time on Wasting your time on people, things that don't actually benefit you is just pointless. A waste is just too much energy. Don't 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 do that. Don't don't waste your energy. Use it for something else. And not even like um, I used to work with this um, girl, and she she used to like vent to me about how she like really didn't like the job. She hated it. And she also had kids, by the way. She, I think she had like two or three. And um, she was talking about how much she didn't hate, like she just hated the job. Um, and honestly, it was, a it was a bad job. Like I wouldn't recommend anyone to stay in there longer than a year. Like just get the credentials you need and just get up through because I wouldn't recommend that for anybody. And I know how the, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the job was, but I'm just, I'm just saying like, I know the job is not something she wants to do for the rest of her life. No one, no one in their human decency will want to do that job for the rest of their lives. Like, um, you get to help people and stuff, but it's just not the ideal thing when you think about helping. Um, but she just didn't like her situation. And first of all, the money by far was not worth it by far okay and so um i at that point in time i was looking for another job because i'm like i'm so young like <laughs> i'm not staying in this situation girl <laughs> like, i am not staying in this situation if i don't have to and i like my parents also like that's when i didn't have my millionaire mindset but i was trust me i was getting there because i'm like and I just kept thinking, I still think about it to this day. And I've been stopped working at a good job. Like how, like, you know, why does she want to still stay there? Like, and I've even, like, I've even showed her the new job that I'm at. I showed her how much I'll be making. I'll be making more, doing less, sitting down the whole entire shift. And I told her that too. She's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, and it's just like. Baby, you gotta get that millionaire mindset. And it's just, um, I wanna help people out there so they don't end up in a situation like that. I wanna get people out of that mindset. Like you can always, like your mindset, your mindset should always be, how can I get better? How can I get better? Do I have to stay in this situation? And then am I being the best me right now? Am I being the best me right now? And that comes with a whole bunch of stuff and we're gonna get all into that on my channel but today we're purely talking about changing it to that millionaire mindset okay so are you being the best millionaire you can be are you really training your mindset to be a millionaire right now uh first of all sis you should be investing into um and i'm not talking about pay for because investing does not always mean pay for something nyla stop it Invest does not always mean pay for something, okay? I, I'm talking about investing into, which is listening to. Listening to podcasts. Um, I have a few, and I'm actually, we should do like, I just thought about something. We should rate some podcasts on my channel. And I should drop like some heat about what the podcast I've been listening to. So, um, yeah, podcast that has really helped me retrain my mind. Get out of that same mindset that I was in. Um, I understand a lot about life now, so that's why I'm so confident into teaching other people, letting them know, Nyla, 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 I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Get out. Get out. I say out. Out. She's so bad. Oh, she's so into podcasts. I mean, I can't explain how much it has impacted my life. It helped me out. It helped me look at life in a different way because the way I was looking at it before, your girl was not i don't know how long it would last like for real thinking the same way i used to uh think like and i've completely changed my whole mindset so i truly truly think you guys should invest into um podcasts this will be tremendously helpful for real. um good people around you keep good energy around you get 
people who believe in your dreams, people who believe in what you believe in. Like, it's very important because your dream, it may seem unrealistic to others, but you truly do believe this. So if other people around you are doubting you or they just, you know, they're just not, you know, really, really believing in your dream, like how, how you really need them to. And you need people around you that's going to encourage you to keep pushing and keep going because this entrepreneur life ain't easy. Life ain't easy in general. So keep good energy around you. Keep uplifting people around you. Um, I also, 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 I also really, really, really encourage this. Seriously. Go on your Instagram right now, honey, especially if you don't have a business page and this is your personal page. I don't know about you, but people in my city... I cannot, I cannot with them. <laughs> like I cannot with people in my city. No, I cannot, Lord Jesus. I can't. They all be capping. All of them be capping. They're all negative. They all hang around people who, they all hang around people who they talk about behind their back. I just can't with, so I don't follow really any. Let's not like truly, truly knew you and you were my friend. I truly have followed them. So I really recommend you, anybody who you feel some type of way about, or you really just don't like them, unfollow them. Bad energy out. Get it out, please. Because I cannot express to you how good it is to be on my TL. And I don't feel how I felt towards Instagram like I used to. I used to feel some type of way towards Instagram. I used to be like, I used to literally, I'm sure you got, I'm sure there's plenty of people on here who can relate. Y'all might even have business pages as well. Um, you should be having good energy on your, on your business page, period. That's not even a discussion, but your personal page, I know sometimes it can get in a wrap because you feel like those are used to be your friends or something like that. And you're like, you're, I don't know if you're scared to unfollow them or something, but since unfollow them, they ain't doing you no good. They ain't doing you no good. No good. Okay, honey, you sitting on there, either get you sitting on there feeling bad about yourself, feeling guilty. And then people don't got nothing. They be capping. Okay. They don't live that life. They don't live that life. And you sitting over here jealous about the, them little girls. Delete them off your page. Do what you need to do or change your mindset. Do something because Instagram is all cap, okay? So don't feel bad about yourself. Or, but also, when you're trying to change your mind to be a millionaire, you don't need nothing putting you down. So if you notice that it is, girl, put just delete them people off of your page. You don't need to be feeling bad about yourself or comparing yourself. None of that. None, okay, honey? Because you're a millionaire, Okay, <laughs> you got a millionaire mindset. What you comparing yourself for? But um, my millionaire mindset, um, my my personal mindset, and it could be you can have whatever mindset you want to. I just call it the millionaire mindset. Okay, but my millionaire mindset, um, uh, it's I am never satisfied. I'm never satisfied. I'm never going to be. Period. I'm not like I always. I'm always gonna want better, bigger, better shinier i'm always gonna want bigger and better i'm always gonna want better for my family my relationship me and my mans i'm always gonna want better for my family my extended family everything i'm always gonna want better because i'm thinking about like generations to come like back to beyonce because i'm gonna relate to her a lot on my channel she already like her kids 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 is already on the forbes list like, you know what I'm saying? I want to set generations up. So I'm always thinking bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? I want my grandchildren to be Gucci, okay? I want them to be good, okay? Um, and also, it's part of my mindset. And this comes with a lot of, like, I know somebody very close to me who has, like, a lot of trouble doing this. <laughs> Lots. But even if you're very, very unsure what you want to do in your life right now, very unsure okay and my, you may even be at a job right now where it's just like oh i'm just holding that spot like i'm just here because i'm just you know prolonging time till my business takes off or something like that like and that's kind of like what i'm doing right now but does that mean that i'm about to slack on my job or barely do it or not go hard at it or not try to be better at it or just slide by do what i need to do no i'm trying to get better at my nine to five too uh, I want that bread, honey. Honey, millionaire mindset. I just got three raises this year alone. Think about 
all the, the millionaire Molly said, you got to get better in all aspects of life. Not only am I trying to get better at my nine to five, my business, YouTube, I'm trying to also be a better person. I'm trying to ser I'm so serious right now. So serious. Okay. I'm trying to be a better person. And even if I don't carry on with YouTube or my business or whatever I started, okay? Even though I don't continue with that, I'm still on my self-love journey, healing from when I was previously like, you know, hurt, damaged, people talked about me, like I'm still healing from stuff like that, self-confidence, all that. Still, still try to work on that, sis. Work on that. If you're not working on anything else, work on that, becoming a better person because if, if you have old stuff that bothers you and you have a little bitterness and hate and a little bit of attitude or whatever, or you feel some type of way when something comes up, then you need to work on that because you need peace. A millionaire above anything needs peace, okay? We need peace and order. We need our life to be in order, okay? And you can't, or your life is not going to be in order if you got this, that, that, and the third going on, okay? So just always, always try to create peace. Get your mindset together. Consistently think about, like literally I consistently think about peace, quiet, peace, quiet, and order. Peace, quiet, and order, okay? Um, some I have anxiety too. So I really have, I take medication for this every single day for this mess. And I have, like, like just the mindset of having peace, quiet, and order, like that relaxes my anxiety right away. For real, especially in this day and age, I know anxiety is very, very, very high. So just get get your life in order. Press, be pressed to get better. Be pressed to always upgrade, get better at life, change your mindset now before it's too late, and you're in a situation that you probably can't even handle. Okay, so just always, always think as a millionaire and I don't mean money wise I mean rich a rich mindset okay value mindset a great value mindset so um just always think about that type of stuff since I'm here to help you out okay honey <laughs> I'm here to help you um do you think that's pretty much so, yeah thank you for tuning in um to my channel this has been great I cannot wait to drop more girl talks like I'm so excited. I really, really hope this really helps somebody. Um, drop any tips about my videos. Let me know if they're actually helpful. If you want me to talk more in depth about a certain subject. Because um, I swear I don't. Uh, Nyla? Nyla. You need to go to the page. You need to go to the page. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, comment any tips or whatever because I it was it will be very very needed and very very appreciated and I'm a new youtuber so sometimes my videos are kind of like scattered all over the place with me talking and so let me know if y'all hate that too because I hate it because I always forget to talk about certain stuff and it just comes up in the middle of the video so let me know what y'all think um, follow me um, on Instagram that's what I update the most um, subscribe to my channel please support tell everybody about my channel because it's gonna get bigger and better like it's gonna get bigger and better